啊啊！ My stream! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh oh, I'm glitching out too. Whoa! But oh my god, I don't I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I I moved OBS to my other screen, and then it just it just went bye bye. It went bye bye. It disappeared. My rigging was oh ah, my rigging. Ah! <laughs> okay, I, I'm moving like around in my chair, but even then, I don't. Ooh, ooh. I shouldn't be weird, moving too weirdly. If that makes sense. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 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 my tracking. Let's reset this real quick. I'm frozen, but it's okay. Just pretend I'm like staring cutely in, out into the distance. Something like that. Something like that. But um... Oh, now I'm back. I'm alive. Holy shit. My computer is just not like me today. Why is that? Okay, I tried testing out this new thing, right? With um... Hey, this face tracking thing, right? That I downloaded a bit ago, like earlier today, and maybe that could be it. I don't know. I heard that's very intensive on your CPU, so maybe if I like hide that, maybe if I hide it. Huh? I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know. It's so weird. It's so strange. Anyways, let me get this timer back up. This made me so sad. This is actually so upsetting. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But this time. This time. Now. Now. Hopefully. My PC doesn't freak out on me. And if it does. Um. Uh, I think I will just end the stream. Because my, my heart cannot take it anymore. My heart. No. Uh, I can't feel the stress today. Anyways. <laughs> it is work time. Work time. We love work time. Wow. I gotta look at all these things. Yes. I will get there. I will get to a time where my PC doesn't freak out on me unexpectedly. I really hope it doesn't. Oh man, guys. So the other day, I have this, um, I have this wall scroll, right? On my wall, obviously. And I, <laughs> and I live in a rental, right? Uh, in an apartment studio. And so, um, I had a thumbtack in one of the walls so I can hang my wall scroll because they said that it's fine if I do that. And that they wouldn't take any out of my deposit if I were to do that. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's what I'll do. So I put in one of my thumbtacks. And then my poster, I, it's right next to my bed, right? And I accidentally, like, kind of, like, how do I explain it? Like, I, I, like, flipped over while I was using my hugging pillow, right? And then the hugging pillow, like, kind of, like, caressed my wall. And it pulled down my poster. And then the thumbtack, like, flew out of the wall. And now I have this big gaping hole and where the thumbtack was. I'm definitely not getting my deposit back. I can say goodbye to all my money. My four digits. My... <laughs> all my money. My four digits. <laughs> I was gonna sting my wallet. Goodbye. Or maybe... Maybe I can try doing it myself. You know, covering it up myself. I got pretty good... I, I think I'm pretty good with color matching. You know, color theory. That's That's my thing. That's my thing. You think I can ask, like, the apartment manager if I can have, like, a really small sample of the paint? <laughs> to paint the walls with? You think they let me do that? Oh, my God. Oh. I'm just staring at that, like, huge chip in my wall now. Okay, guys. I didn't want to live with just blank walls forever here. Okay, I, I needed to decorate it. I needed... Add my weeb shit here. All my weeb shit. Okay. How am I supposed to live here? I don't have it plastered with anime girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anime girls, they give me, they give me life. Beauty to my eyes. 
It's what I need. If I don't have it, mm -mm. not be happy. Cannot. Uh, the thing I need is more card chapter stuff to figurine. Oh my god. I keep on seeing like these $300 ones online and I'm I'm always so so tempted. So so tempted to like ugh, buy them, but my wallet says no. My heart just says yes, but my wallet says no. Oh no. Maybe, maybe if I end up mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe one day in the future. One day in the future. But I'm not a broke college student. <laughs> We all know all college students are broke. We gotta, oh yeah, that fat tuition. Oh yeah, oh yeah, favorite thing in the world. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to make this look better. Hmm. Fellas, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to make this look good. Mm -hmm. ah you know, maybe I'll just end up looking on Pinterest for like... For like two horrible hours. And... It'll work out. Maybe it'll work out that way. Who knows? Who who knows? Who who? Who who? Pinterest is one of my favorite things. One of my favorite websites. We love Pinterest. You guys love Pinterest too, right? Yeah. Gotta love Pinterest all the time. If I really wanted to, I think I could probably just scroll through Pinterest. A whole day for a whole ass day and then sleep and eat and that's all i need but no it's not pinterest time anymore no 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 that's like early 2010s me okay now it's all about tiktok oh shit tiktok I need that i need that short term entertainment you know to get that dopamine in my head you know uh give me uh, uh, uh a short attention span oh yeah you'd love that mm-hmm mm -hmm. TikTok's got me fucked up. I can't sit down patiently and watch even a whole anime episode anymore. I, I I need to like split it up within like 10 minutes. Like I'll I'll watch in the morning, eat, do some stuff, watch in the middle of the day, do some more stuff, and then and then right before bed, watch the rest. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I used to be able to binge shows so easily. Now I can barely like sit down and watch one. Crazy. It's crazy. Oh my god, guys. I actually have a story that I've been wanting to tell you. Are you ready for it? You're gonna have such a fun time listening to this. So welcome in Slug Slug. Hello! How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well, too. Oh my god. But anyways, <clears throat> I have this story for you guys. Okay? You're not prepared. So, when I was a little baby, right? A little bebe. Um, my dad used to, like, put me in stuff, like, a lot, right? So, if, for example, like, a pumpkin, like, a carved pumpkin would just, like, stuff me in there, right? Or like um, a bag, you know? He likes stuffing me in there too. But anyways, when I was younger, we had like this clear plastic bag, you know, that you put your mattress, uh, uh, like duvet stuff. What's it called? The blanket stuff. What are they called? The 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 
the blanket shit. Anyways, he put me in one of those bags and like uh, carried me around with it, you know, by the handle, and then showed my mom. Like, oh my god, look at how Claudia looks in this bag. Oh my god, she looks so cute. And apparently, I was like really happy. It was like, hey, 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 hey. anyways, right? And then the bag breaks and he drops me. So I was dropped as a baby when I was younger. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? It's funny, right, guys? It's funny. Now I can make those jokes. I think that I was dropped as a baby. Mm, mm. The best kind. The best kind. So if someone's like, oh man, Claudia, you're dumb as shit. Dumb as rock. Were you dropped as a baby or something? Now I can say yes. After learning that story, I can say yes. <laughs> They hate me. Hate me. Oh my god. Wow. No, maybe that explains things about my personality. You know, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's why I had such a terrible time making friends when I was younger. Oh my god. I think my prime time. Prime time as a kid. Like in elementary school. I love the actually no, I take that back. Early middle school before I was like omega cringe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like elementary school. Um my school had uniforms, right? We were forced to wear uniforms every day. And I didn't like that because I thought they were ugly as fuck, right? It was like the um like like white polos and uh like navy skirts or navy pants or whatever, navy dress. Maybe whatever, right, was essentially a white polo top, is what we had to wear. And so, um, let's see, in middle school, I didn't have that same, like, uniform restriction anymore because I went to, like, a different school. It was still within, like, the same district, but it's just, like, really far away from the other school. So most people from, like, that elementary school didn't go to the middle school that I went to. And because of that, I was so happy. And I got to buy a whole bunch of new clothes because I, I basically didn't have very many clothes to like wear out. Wear out, you know, other than my school uniforms. Mm -mm -mm. So I, got, I ended up buying like a shit ton of anime shirts from Hot Topic that looked so, so ugly. They were so, so ugly, but I didn't care because they were anime. They were anime, so I was like the happiest kid ever. Oh my god. It was great. It was great. I had an absolute blast. Because I didn't give a fuck about what other people thought. Now I give too many fucks about what people think. <laughs> da, da, da. I think also when I was like in elementary school, not elementary, middle school, I also wore like the same jacket every single day. And I'd wash it like once a week, but and then it was, it was so crusty. And gross and you can see like all the lint built up on it and how it was getting thinner and like dirtier by the day and because it was like so so like crusty and dusty and messy right i decided to buy a new one and holy shit the difference the difference between the two when you like compare them side by side it was crazy oh my god the other one looked like it looked fresh it looked clean and mine looked like like a dog ripped through it and like chewed it up. That's exactly what it looked like. It was so gross. I don't know if I still have that jacket or not. I might. I don't know. It might be in a box somewhere. But uh, after a while, right, the, the main reason why I decided to not wear it anymore was because like my, my, my I had like these other classmates that bought the same jacket as me that, that I didn't like, right? I, I didn't like this particular person. They're like, oh my god, look, Claudia, we're matching now. After that day, I'm like, oh, no, nope, nope. I do not want to be associated with this person. I do not want to be mistaken as this person ever in my life. So I decided to stop wearing the jacket. Mm -mm. That was when I stopped being crusty and messy for like three years. <laughs> I'm crazy and musty again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babes. Oh, yeah. After COVID, it just unleashed more of my crest and my must. My true self. My true self. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so gross, guys. Man, my hair. Actually, no, I, I did wash my hair recently. I washed it in um, 
Saturday. Yes, Saturday. I have different days where I like wash my hair. And days where I don't. I gotta make sure my hair's on these. And plus, Just be here. Oily hair. Just like oily enough where it like looks healthy. Not dried, you know? Yeah, my hair is like dead. So, so dead on the ends. Ugh. It's so bad, but I want to dye it again. I see so many like videos and pictures of people with like dyed hair. They look so cute and I... Mm, I want the dyed hair too again. Oh my god. Technically, it's still dyed. It's just like dyed... um. A more natural color now. Before I used to have like so many crazy colors like green, blue, purple, pink, red. It was so fun. It was so fun. I was like a rainbow. Like a new person every day. Walking into the classroom. Oh my god, who's that new student? Oh wait, it's just Claudia again. Never mind. And I would also like switch up my style based off my hair color too. It was so fun. It was so fun. At this time, at this one point, I also had it like this really, really light lavender. The point where it looks silver my god it was so pretty it was so pretty i loved it so much sometimes i look at it again i'm like oh. okay. ah. anyways yeah isn't like the new anime season coming up so how many days is that let me see let me check that real quick i'm definitely doing my work guys don't mind me so welcome in hyper virtual extreme hello hello Oh shit! Wait a minute. <gasps> oh wait, I didn't realize! New episode of um, Spy Family comes out in four days. Shit! Oh! Fan art? Fan art time? Oh my god. What's up? What's up? But yeah. I, I kind of wanted to uh, Spy Family uh, fan art. I don't know if I'd want to do one of Anya or your. Not sure, not sure. Or both. Maybe I can do both. Oh no, I don't know what I am I'm feeling. I usually draw like uh like like not children usually but like how do I explain it? Like more teenage looking anime girls, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. That's that's what I usually draw, but I don't know what Anya would look like. Oh I could do teenage Anya. That's chill. That is true. I think that would be cute. I don't know. I think the main thing about Anya, why people like her so much, is because you know she's so small. She's so tiny. She's cute that way. So so cute. Yeah, I think most of the fan art that I do like of her are usually of when she's like of her age rather than like teenage Anya. I don't know. It just it just doesn't hit at the same. It doesn't feel as cute. You know? You know what I mean? like it's like comparing a toddler to a teenager you know teenagers are yucky teenagers are gross toddlers are cute and sometimes annoying i should know they're always annoying and sometimes cute take it back take it back mm -mm -mm -mm. and not handle kids i cannot kids i would beat one up if you paid me i would a hundred percent beat up a kid if you paid me to no hesitation whatsoever. Okay, I know that sounds really bad, but but I, I wouldn't actually, you know, I wouldn't actually, unless, <sighs> unless. <laughs> God, I swear, I sw I'm, not, I'm not a bad person. I trust me, tr trust me, or don't. I get it, you know, I get it. <laughs> I think... What do I think? I think... Kids are yucky. Also, I have lots of mention Defender. Hello! Thank you for the hydrate! I get my water real quick. Oh yeah! Mm. Audio is actually a boss baby. How do you do, fellow adults? <gasps> Do I sound like a child? Do I act like a child? That is such an insult. That's such an insult. And not because I'm immature, right? You 100% call me immature. Because I am. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sick joke every day. 
all day, your mom jokes all day, every day. But to say, hear me, to a child, to literally, a literal bebe, oh my god, it's awful. Awful. Would you want to be compared to a child? No! How dare you compare me one to one? How dare you? Now we're gonna beat up kids together. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun, guys. Trust me. Trust! Oh shit, what is this? Oopsie. Oh no. I don't know what my controls are anymore. <laughs> oh, and I messed up my, my Photoshop. Oh, now I have a cat mouse. I was clicking things on my keyboard for stuff. I don't know what happened. Ooh, that one casually approached child. Oh yeah. And then we offer them candy. And then we put them in the back of our truck, right? That's that's how it goes, right? That's what we're doing, right? Is it not? Oh shit, are we not supposed to do that? Oh no. Hey man, where are the cops here now? What happened? No, 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 we, were, we weren't gonna kidnap them. We were just, we're just gonna, um, teach them a little lesson, that's what we're doing. Beating them up. Mm -hmm. Teach them one-on-one -on -one how not to be annoying. So that they don't get beat up by other adults. Oh, we, oh yeah, we're throwing candy at them instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead, we got <laughs> we got those giant jawbreaker candies. You know what I mean? Those like layered, like hard candies, and then throw it at them. We're definitely not gonna give them any head injuries with that. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, I I feel like you could easily get. The attention of a kid nowadays. They're all iPad kids, all iPad kids. Like, you show them a video, they will shut up. They just watch it and they're like, oh, what's this? It can be literally of anything, they do not care. They'll just consume. They consume. And I remember when it was over at my parents' house, right? I had my younger cousin living with them. Mm hmm. And. I like overheard one of the videos that she was watching. It was so weird. I, it's like one of those uh, like story time videos, right? But those animated ones. It was like about how like this like teenage girl got knocked up and then like cheated on her partner and then like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, whoa. I don't know if you should be watching this. <laughs> At this young age, this is five years of age. I don't know, man. I don't know. They play some Roblox or something. Play some Roblox. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like giving a kid a jawbreaker is just giving them the whole ass life lessons in edible form. <laughs> my stupid ass could and would try to break a jawbreaker if I ever got the chance to try one. Oh my god. That... I I never bought a jawbreaker before, so I never got to attempt it. it made me so sad. My parents wouldn't let me buy one. They're like, no, it's a waste, waste of money. It's money. Get other candies instead that you can finish. So sad. So sad. But definitely would have tried breaking it. Also, some of them might be paused. Let me double check on that. It could be that they're paused. Maybe all of them are paused. Or none of them are paused. Let me check that in. Uh, so welcome in, yeah, alrighty. Hello, hello. It should be working. I will turn on canvas flip. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing stuff in Photoshop right now. Uh, I don't know if my webcam cam mic will work, but I hope so. Mm hmm. I think my parents thought I'd choke on jawbreakers. They're huge though, aren't they? But those have like different size jawbreakers. Wait, let me check this. Jawbreakers. Breakers. Look like at the images of them. Okay, okay, yeah. Some of them are like the size of a lollipop, and others are like the size of like half my head. And you got the mega bruiser jawbreaker. What is this? Holy shit! This one's huge! Oh my god! This mega bruiser jawbreaker is like the size of, um... Bigger than my head. 
like twice yeah it's like twice the size actually no we're more like one and a half one and a half times the size of my head that's gigantic holy shit I'm gonna lie, I would expect no less of an intimidating title for a large child broker. No, it's not intimidating enough. Or maybe there's a bigger one. The even more, even more intimidating name, like, um, what are we gonna call it? The, the Nut Breaker 4000 Jaw Breaker. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Your whole body will shrivel if you try to take a bite. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're done for. Just say goodbye. Say goodbye to everyone in your life. Just attempting to eat it will get you down on the ground. Ba -ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. God, every time I look over and see my feet, I get. And I just feel something. I don't know what it is, though. It's just something. There, I'm like, shit. Why'd I create this? For what reason? For what reason, honestly? What what did I do it for? I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be so fun and quirky, haha! -ha. <laughs> oh, I have feet everywhere. Feet everywhere on my Twitter feed. <laughs> and the feet tuber tag is like, it's, it's no longer the acid. I thought it was gonna be only the acid. It's all, it's all fleshy feet. But you know, you know, you know. Okay, they're making the bank. They're making the bank with their feet photos. They're absolutely chilling here. But man, uh, I wish I thought of a smarter name. <laughs> Jawbreaker, you're watching now. Fixer walking. Oh shit! <gasps> They're gonna have a absolute, absolute fight, absolute brawl up there. Shit! Yeah, they're gonna call each other's names. Call each other's names. Then I'm gonna call each other's moms and tell each other's moms that they will fuck with their other mum instead. Oh man. They're gonna realize they get no bitches. Both of them. Both of them. Ah! I don't wanna do my work, guys. I'm just kinda staring at the screen, to be honest, because I'm just trying to generate ideas for this, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know! <laughs> it doesn't look good enough. Simply not good enough. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did you even awe at the absolute waves you have been able to make? And I'm hoping you will start to get more and more recognition for what you do. Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> yeah, I, I hope so too. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's VTubing. Streaming in general is just, it's just hard. It's just hard. I don't know, one day. One day though. One day. Ooh. I need to figure out how to make this grid. For this image. Bum, bum, bum. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please inflate my ego even more. Oh my god. Thank you. There's a what? This little you I've seen so far. Whether on Twitter or lurking here, you've got a wonderful personality and great talent. Oh my god. That's so sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I need to feed my ego even more because, you know, how, how else am I supposed to go on if I don't get constantly fed, you know, all these, all these compliments? Mm hmm. I gotta go she every second. She he! Okay, well maybe I turn to Michael Jackson. He he! <laughs> the he he! The she he! And the he he! Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you got great taste. Great taste. Yeah, it's all about cat girls. Cat girls. My wallet's gonna break because of cat girls and VTubers. It's already broken because of them, to be honest. I have spent too much, too much on VTubers. But you know what? 
It's fine. It truly is fine. Actually, no, it's not fine because my parents are upset at me with how much... <laughs> that much money I spent. On VTOL bus. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I still- I, I, I got enough money. I just have enough money, you know, to live. <laughs> and that's good enough. That's good enough. Spending my money where it really counts, where it makes me happy. YouTubers. Shit. They are not my VTuber merch now. 100% worth it. 100% worth it. I'll never be upset because of it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. When I was uh, younger, I didn't have an allowance, right? And the only time I would get money was when grades rolled in, right? So I'd get like uh, like 20 bucks for every A, and I was, I was so happy because then I was like, shit, that's a lot of money, right? Right? And I had like six classes when I was younger, right? And that's. Every quarter, I would get uh, uh, $20 for every A. And I would try my best to get money, because that's the only time I could spend money and buy, it, buy shit I wanted. And when I was younger, all I wanted was anime merch. I tried my best, tried my best. And I, and I didn't get my first one until actually after my first um, part-time job. When I worked at Subway was when I got my first First, first, first anime merch, and it was actually what was it? What was it? it was um, I I bought this Umi from Love Live keychain, and I went to uh, uh anime expo. So yeah, that was nice. That was fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh shit, that reminds me. Okay, so I was in high school, right? When I went to anime expo for the first time, and so um. Oh shit, now it's break time. Let me change that. Actually, no, I will tell you my story as I change it. So I went to Anime Expo for the first time when I was in high school. And my first thing, the one thing I wanted to do was to buy as much Boomy merch as I could. Because I was obsessed with Love Live at the time. I love, 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 love Live, right? So at uh, one of the artist alley booths I went to, I was talking to this guy, right? And he was also a big fan of Umi. So every time um, you told him that Umi was your bias, was your favorite, right? From Love Live, he would give you a free pin. He'd give you a free pin because of it. And I also got free posters too, free Umi posters when I went there, right? And he said, oh yeah, it's, it's because, you know, it's, Umi fans are just based. You got great taste. I'm like, oh, thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate their free posters. And apparently, he was actually one of my cousin's friends, who's uh, a bit older than me. Uh, at that time, he was in his 20s, so out of college, um, or maybe like late college student, right? From what I knew of my cousin and his friends. And so afterwards, uh, apparently, he was texting my cousin, asking me. Asking about me, it's like, hey, hey, like, what does she do? What does she like? Yada, yada, yada. And then he had to break it to him that I was still in high school. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, that was, that was, that was interesting. That was interesting. So at that time, my, my cousin and I were just like staring at each other after, um, we were reading the messages and we're like, hmm. Yeah, that's that's interesting. That's that's something. He's you know the the not, not gonna catch a case today. No sir, no sir. Oh man, love life fans from breed. <laughs> I know in high school I feel like I looked like a high schooler. Oh no, I, I feel like it's my demeanor, but oh, what was I wearing? I don't remember if I was cosplaying at the time or not. I don't think so. I don't know. I was also, um... Yeah, was I a junior? I think I was a junior. I think I was a junior. I don't remember. Junior in high school. 
that seems about right. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Oh, I also gotta change this to break time. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> first time going to Anime Expo, and that was one of the situations that happened. I think that's that's funny. I, I like to remember it because it's just a funny scenario, you know? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, welcome in, little great tell oh, hello. Literally, the only reason I can remember what I wear on any given day is because I have, like, you're the same exact shirt and pants. <laughs> but yes, Beats! Also, welcome in, t -lo. hello, hello! Yes. Oh my god. <gasps> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put, um, credits to the assets in the bottom. Let me do that real quick. I just remembered. I just remembered. Let me do that real quick. I- I have it all in like this Google Doc so that I can just copy and paste it and then remove it whenever I need to. Because sometimes I have like, um... Different ones, right? Different assets I use for each screen. I like to switch it back and forth. Where is it? I can't find it. Okay. Okay, now that should be updated. I don't know if you guys need to reload or not. I feel like you likely would need to. Mm. I don't like of your hands? No. You're stuck with me forever. Never. And never. I'm never letting go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, even in your dreams, I will be interlocking toes with you. Hands to toes, toes to toes, toe to hand. Whatever you want, baby. <laughs> Little dogs, no tap. It's not always nice to have stuff written down and move back and forth as needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my notes app so much. I think that if my phone were to get like factory set and lose everything, right? Because I don't have a backup for it right now because I don't have enough storage space apparently, which is weird. I tried backing it up on my computer, but it wouldn't let me. I just like it gave me like this message saying that I'm not allowed to anymore because I need to upgrade. Stupid. Stupid. But anyways, and the one thing I would be devastated to lose would be my notes app. It would be my notes app. That's where I, like, I keep my passwords and stuff, and like, um, and like, uh, take note of places I want to go to, like restaurants, right? In, uh, my city, or cities that I know I'm going to visit in the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so tasty. Oh, yummy. Man. Oh, food now. You know what I've been craving the last few days? I've been craving Korean rice cake. Yeah, they're so yummy. Oh my god, so juicy, so... Ugh, so chewy. Oh my god. If you guys haven't tried it before, you should. You can handle the spice. If you can't handle the spice, you're a pussy. I'm sorry. Sorry to say it. You're a pussy. Mm -mm. You're just weak. Just not have stomach problems. It's easy. It's easy. Alright, you may throw up once or twice and get really bad poops, but it's okay. I do that too. All the time. I have stomach problems too. I'm weak too. But I go through it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so bad sometimes, though. God. Raw fruits and vegetables messing me up so bad. I don't know how. I, like, throw up so badly. It's not pretty. So welcome in, but drink. Hello, hello! Yes. The day my iPad gets factory reset is the day my soul leaves my body. I have so much stuff written down in there. Oh my god, same! If my iPad were to get a factory reset, I would be so upset. I have so many, like, Procreate drawings on there that aren't backed up. I don't know if they're saved by the cloud or not. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. Um, I should probably black, blah, 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 back them up every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, give Cat raw veggies and she dies, yeah. We do the same to Dolly, she'll also die. <laughs> we'll both be deceased, dead, underground, never see us again. But then again, you hate us. Don't you? Chat. You hate us, don't you? Constantly bullying us, day after day, night after night. Oh man, oh man. Mm -mm. Mm. Let's see what else. What else is this? Just like spice. I love space too. Wasabi, the traditional Japanese restaurant. Yeah, I heard that wasabi in Japan. Uh. Specifically, right, is different from American wasabi and wasabi from other places because it's not from the same uh, plant. I think wasabi in America is um, made from horseradish. What I heard, what someone told me. I, don't know, I tried 
horseradish for the first time the other day it was disgusting oh my god how do you guys eat that I, I went to um what's it called i don't even know what it's called anymore to the, like this american uh like 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 sandwich place like meat sandwich place i don't know what it's called what's disgusting how do you guys do that it's just gross i like spicy food but it's just gross this is gross i ever heard of omega strikers oh my god i have yeah i actually started playing it um a couple days ago because my friends told me to and they also told me that lily pichu uh voice acts one of the people there and i fucking love lily pichu oh my god i would pay so much money just to meet lily pichu again i would I, okay maybe not so much money okay i'm not that obsessed but like <clears throat> i'd like to meet her again because and then i think she's just cool it's just cool. I, I like her content, right? So welcome in, Princess Seven Seven. Hello, hello. Uh huh. Apparently, Japanese wasabi is made from leaves of wasabi plants. According to exactly one search. Huh. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's about right. I don't know. Um, I heard that it has like it doesn't have like that stinging like feeling you get in, like your nose right whenever you eat like regular wasabi. Mm -hmm. That makes sense that wasabi would be made of wasabi. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> would be weird if it wasn't. I mean, I don't... Well, American wasabi isn't. So, yeah. This is self, a little bit of that shelf life. Bad. Imagine producing mold. Imagine just going bad. I can't food just stay food forever. Mm -mm. That's what preservatives are for. Man, I love fucking preservatives. Well, yeah. Put that in my body right now right now give me all the chemicals give me all the mercury in the fish mm. yum dragon wasabi apparently contains horseradish and hot mustard <gasps> yeah that seems about right seems about right i like mustard right i love mustard i like regular mustard i love honey mustard i love all mustard but <sighs> other, other toppings oh horseradish can't i don't get it i don't get it I have wasabi with no wasabi in it. It's weird. I'm trying to think of other things that are like that. Mm. Mm. I was gonna say cheesecake, but it has cream cheese. But not like actual cheese. I'd actually had a friend who didn't eat cheesecake for the longest time because they thought it would taste like regular cheese. <laughs> it's so funny. And they, they didn't try cheesecake up until uh, they were in high school. That's the funniest shit I ever heard because, oh my god, I love cheesecake so much. It's one of my favorite flavors. One of my favorite cakes. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god, Yogurt Land also has like this, um... Holy shit! Oh my god, welcome in, Raiders! Oh my god, welcome in! Also, my output went to my speakers. Kinda weird. Anyways, hello, Nakima Ares! Hello, Raiders! How was your stream? I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Claudia Katsumoto. I'm part of Gen 1 Otomo Polo. Yes, yes, yes. And I am your favorite crusty, dusty cat girl who plays a lot of FPS games like Valorant and Apex. And I also like doing a lot of art as well. But right now, we are doing a study stream. You know? I gotta go back to the study timer, study timer, and do studying. I'm more like work. I'm not actually studying. Imagine if I was actually studying though. If I was actually studying, um, this would not be this would not be a great time. <laughs> great time for my studying at least. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi! Love the desk. I love the desk too. Oh yeah, I'm glad you like it. I, I think it's because of the toes. Maybe the mouse. Probably the mouse. Mouse is just too darn cute. <laughs> yes, work, work. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think title. Okay, okay. When you're reading it, work, 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 work. You might, you might not think at at first, but when I was thinking the title, I was like, oh my god, I should do it like that one song from like Fifth Harmony, like the work, 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 right? But I don't know how to translate that into the title. Maybe I need to add some more lyrics. What's it called? The work fifth. Wait. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no, that's a different. That's a different one. That's a different one. Wait, wait, no, that's a different song. It's not. It's not. It's by Rihanna. Not Fifth Harmony. Okay, there's there's multiple songs called Work. Okay, and I always get confused. Let's see. Yeah, it's a Work, 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 Work. Easy. 
then we have the work work. Okay. We look at the lyrics here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to make it up in here. Make it more natural. Natural. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All the assets are um, actually linked at the bottom. So none of the things here except for my feet are uh, made by me. But yeah, I have them credited at the bottom and they're all super cool artists. All super great. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous this stuff is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I absolutely love card capture Sakura. The chair, the mouse, and the background is all uh, from it. From it or inspired by it. Mm -hmm. Which streamer am I supporting on Omega Strikers? Obviously, Lily Pichu. Team Comfy, 100%. Fuck, I love Lily so much. You have to. You just have to. I tried being a Juno main in um, Omega Strikers, but it's so difficult. It's so difficult. Oh my god, I, I don't understand. My mind can't comprehend it at all whatsoever. So I've been playing um, the, the blue lady, the blue lady. Is L or less? Something like that. It starts with an E. Her name starts with an E, right? Right? Something around there. One loss to not keep up with mainstream music artists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many different songs. So many different songs that I don't know anymore because I don't I don't keep up with mainstream songs anymore. I used to because I used to have the uh, radio only play on the uh, in, like car rides all the time mm -mm, mm -mm. could not cannot anymore uh let me get that chair oh timer again and more again are we honest my guy we honest yeah okay i have no clue who the characters are in uh, Omega Strikers. I, I don't know any of them. I don't remember any of their names. <laughs> Only one I know is Juno. Because it's Lily. Oh my god. I can love Lily so much. Oh my god. I could go about her all day. All day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Before um, college in like high school, I was always so upset that I'd like miss so many streams because um, I had to prioritize, like, doing stuff I like versus, um, like, gaming versus watching a stream. I'm like, man, I want to game with my friends because I don't want to, I don't want to feel left out or I had to do homework. I don't have a stream in the background because I get too distracted, you know, or I had school. And there was this one streamer that I'd, or not, not really a streamer, but more, more of a YouTuber who'd also stream, right, on Twitch occasionally was, um, oh god. I can't remember his name. I know his face. It's like this one Australian artist, right? On YouTube. And, um... I'd always, like, watch his videos all the time. And, uh, occasionally he'd do art while on stream, right? Like, live streaming. And I would always miss it! And the first time I tried, uh, watching his stream, and the first time I did have the time to watch his stream... It worked. It didn't work. I had so many technical problems, and he's like, oh man, sorry guys, uh, I can't stream today. Uh, uh, next time though, next week, I'm so devastated. So, so devastated. High school, man. No time, no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Omega Strikers, um, it's, it's, I don't know how to feel about it. It feels like league and rocket league like league of legends and Lo rocket league had a baby that's what it feels like that's exactly what i thought of when i like first went into the tutorial and played the game i was playing it with my friends because they're the ones who got me into it look i told them man this was like this is like fucking league of legends Are you making me play league and they're like yeah a lot of league elements but yeah i tried using like the wasd uh, controls for it I ended up using the mobile ones because that's just what I'm more comfortable with. Fucking league. In league making me do all this shit. Oh my god, cringe game. Cringe game. Hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Oh my god, but Worlds is actually coming up. And it's in uh uh California, right? This year. And it's 
Um, it's in November, not quite near my break, but like if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to, I could buy a ticket, but I don't play League. But Little Nas X is gonna be there, and I wanna watch Little Nas X. <laughs> I wanna watch Little Nas X, and it's so rare to have like League Worlds in the US, right? It's usually almost always in like China or like Korea, right? But it's, oh my god the US for the first time in so long? It's tempting. It's tempting. It's so tempting to go and buy tickets to watch the finals. I want to. But, uh, uh, question is how am I gonna get there? How am I gonna pay for that? I'm gonna pay for the ticket? Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, Worlds might not come here for another 10 years. Yeah, I don't play League anymore, but it's just because of that soul factor, I want to. I want to watch it. Mm hmm So tempting. So, so. So, so tempting. Uh... I think... Tickets go on sale in like, three days. I'm just, I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it, it definitely is a once in a while opportunity. Yeah, if it came like every year, I would, I wouldn't even think about going. I'd be like, fuck that shit. No! I'm not going. <laughs> well, holy. It, it does feel like once in a decade. It does. It does. I wonder why they decided to put it in um, North America this year. So weird. I want to know why. I, I don't assume... I don't think it's because of stadium size. That would make sense. Maybe they just want to switch it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm surprised that it's not in LA, because that's where um, Riot headquarters are, right? LA? So I just, I don't know. I don't know. Makes sense. Does not make sense. Sense? Does not make sense? You gone to an esports event before? It's fun. Yeah. I feel like esports events are. Obviously, they're more fun if you play the game. No dur, no duh, right? But the energy in there, I feel like it's just completely different from like typical sports games. I feel like like with um like regular sports games, everyone just it just looks really messy at the stadium. Like there's food everywhere, everyone's like so disrespectful to the place, like drinks on the floor, things spilled. They just throw things up in the air, like food and shit and stuff like that. Sometimes literal shit. Yeah, damn. I don't want a stinging pile of poo on my head. Oh my god, imagine. <gasps> oh my god, Ashley reminds me. I saw this TikTok of this woman who was at like this, um, like a sports stadium. I don't know what sport it was specifically, but um, she was watching a game and then she just started throwing up right in front of her, right? And onto the lady uh uh that was sitting in front of her right but she just kept on throwing up and throwing up like like water right and just sitting there being like it's fine so this this is like literally her expression she should be like wah, wah, and then sitting up and then wah, wah, again and then up and then, wah, wah, you know like <laughs> she is like so chill and it's like so disgusting i'm like what is this what is that <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is something I would still want to dedicate my time to if it was a regular occurrence. Yeah, if if I was still playing League, I would a hundred percent go even if it was like consistently in my area. But or or even just like in my same state. Or even even just in North America, I'd probably still want to go. <laughs> Anywhere in North America, it'd be much cheaper than like an international flight. But, um, yeah, I don't, that's why I'm still thinking about it, because I would've, I would've. Not sure, though. It does look fun, it does look kind of fun. I don't play League anymore, though, so I'd be standing there, like, for, like, at least three hours, four hours, maybe, at least. Sitting there, watching the game, and being like, oh, this shit's boring. Dude, I could play, I could probably play, <laughs> like, some sort of rhythm game while there, and people are gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Maybe I get back into the league just because. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the make of water vomit. Mmm, tasty. It's my favorite. Is it not your guys' favorite? Probably my favorite. Love it so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. One false move and her fingers are getting pulverized. What is this? And hold on us. Oh, of course I do. My toes are the best grippers out there. They're the, they're the grippiest of the grippy. And you will enjoy them. And you will enjoy my grippy fingers. Oh my god. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to fix this thing. I don't know how. What is what's happening here? My desktop! Why are you making these sounds? How did... Why is it my Photoshop stuff working? Anyways, hello! Please just suck at me. Hello, hello! Welcome in, welcome in. But yeah. Uh... Ooh! You applied to Internet Riot today? <gasps> oh, cool, cool, cool! We got... Let us know how it goes in the future. Yeah. I heard that... Uh, what was it? They weren't due until next year, though, right? Is it for those summer internships? <laughs> yeah, you really do have to fight Photoshop. Using Photoshop is like being in a wrestling ring. Part of the WWE now. Shit. Hate it. Oh god, I'm trying to look for this like specific setting, but I can't. I don't know where it is. Oh never mind, I'm blind. Oh shit. I'm so blind. I'm actually like, oh, ah. Does this work? Is this? Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> yeah! Okay, sometimes I would have 15 entire gigabytes of space free on my computer and it would go, ah! Can't possibly open it. You don't have enough memory. Exactly. Oh my god, that's happened to me so many different times. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, I ended up having to delete a whole bunch of files off my, um, my computer because of it. Photoshop Voodoo. Photoshop Stinky. Um, but I guess it's so that if you end up, like, making, um, making a, um, big file, you'd have enough, enough room to, like, save it. That's what I assume it's for, at least. My eyes are being blinded by my work right now. Holy shit. Get me out of here. Get me I don't want to work on this anymore, guys. We oh got that Lil Nas X song goes hard. You guys disagree, you're just wrong. You're wrong. <gasps> I just realized I had this custom pattern that I made onto Photoshop. And I don't think Photoshop saved it. I hope they did. I hope it did because my 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 computer went like tui earlier, so now to like log into Photoshop like every single time, which is weird. So weird. Every time I use it on a different device, it makes me log in again on my computer. But it doesn't on my laptop. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, Photoshop. Ah. Yeah, Adobe is um, I will say, interesting, interesting with Photoshop. Yeah, part of the reason why I like switch to CSP for my illustration stuff is just easier. CSP just loves you so much better, makes things ten times easier than Photoshop. But then again, Photoshop isn't like made for illustration specifically. So I guess it makes sense, but they know a lot of people use it, so... You know, why not try to optimize it more for uh, a good chunk of people who use your program? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking what I'm saying! Um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Photoshop just takes a lot of work with. Photoshop fucks me over so much. God. Photoshop's a bully. 
literally says to me on my face, like a screen will pop up saying, I'm gonna screw your mom. That's what it says. What a shout out to such a bully. Such a bully. The image just runs better on Mac? No! No! I have used Photoshop on Mac before, and it mm, mm, says mean things to me on there too. It's due to water, it crashes, doesn't say my word, absolutely like fucks me over. Turns me around, smacks my ass. I got 10 times in a row, right? Makes it red and bleeding. Not only, not just red, but bleeding, okay? Bleeding. Ugh. Photoshop is war criminal. Everyone hates Photoshop. Everyone hates it. It's also an industry standard, so we kind of have to use it. Just have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I wish Photoshop was a physical item just so that I can punch it. Yeah. Yeah, if I did that to uh, my screen, I, I would not be happy. My wallet would not be happy. I'd be crying. So much. I kind of wish Photoshop went back to its days like 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 two decades ago when you could just do the one-time payments instead of like the monthly subscription. Oh, the subscription is so due to water. I hate it. So much money. My money. <laughs> that was a dream. Yeah, I know that I'm going to be using like Adobe products for life. Like for life, which is why monthly subscriptions are due to water. Go so due to water. I'm spending so much money on Adobe when 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 they don't even give me that much. They don't give me that much. What's happened in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now, now. I was gonna say. Now my school pays for my Adobe project. So I have access to everything, which makes me so happy. But it's also still doo doo. Still doo doo. I still don't have to pay for it anymore. <laughs> which is great. Which is so fun. Yeah, my wallet is saved. Yeah, yeah. If my school didn't pay for uh, Adobe, I would be crying. I'd be crying so hard. Because not only is my money going to the tuition, right? It's also just dead. Is dead. We on the ground. Like it's so it's something that I can't just opt out of. <laughs> or you didn't hear from me, but you can buy it. Did you even hear my whisper? Did you even hear that? Hold on, let me, let me get a little closer. <clears throat> Pirate that shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not saying that's what I do with all my programs. I would I would never do that. No! I would never pirate things in my life. Because I am a law-abiding citizen. Yes I am. A hundred percent. Always. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Anyways, I, I gotta look at my work now. What am I doing it again? What am I doing it again? Sometimes I look at my shit and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just stare and I'm like, shit. Who are you? What are you? Why, why are you on my screen? Ooh. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of movies recently, right? Because I told you guys how I have like the AMC pass thing, the like movie pass. We pay like $20 a month. And you can watch three movies a week, every week, for the month, right? For the whole month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And anyways, so I have that, right? And um, I was thinking about watching Don't Worry Darling, and my friend told me, like, hey, I don't think you should watch it in theaters. But why not? I've been wanting to watch it. Got Harry Styles in there. My boy Harry Styles, right? And apparently, people have been, like, tr absolutely trashing the theaters after watching the movie. Right, and leaving um, fluids for some reason when watching it. Why? <laughs> Why? 
why? It's not like it's Fifty Shades of Grey or anything. Like, with Fifty Shades of Grey, I can, like, at least somewhat get it. Somewhat get it. But don't worry, darling. Isn't that supposed to be, like, a thriller, too? It's supposed to be a thriller movie. Oh my god, these, these Harry-style fangirls are getting out of hand. Holy shit. What's the movie about? You know, that's a good question. I have no fucking clue. It looks like a thriller. I should accidentally search up Harry Styles. Uh, don't worry, darling. Darling. Okay. Uh, what's the genre? I can tell you it's not a romance. Yeah, thriller slash horror. Yeah, thriller slash horror. I think it has like some sex scenes. Like, some naughty naughty scenes. Oh yeah. But um, even then, like, that's not the premise of the movie. Like, what's up with that? Damn, what kind of horny ass people are watching these, these movies? Which, by the way, if you guys are ever planning on doing something naughty in the theater, doing something bad, or not necessarily sexy, but naughty, okay? Okay? Like, um, like, um, sneaking food in the theater, sure, sure, sure. But, um, they have cameras, apparently, that face the audience when you watch the movie that are, uh, that have night, night vision, shit like that, right? You can see you in the dark, and they will report you if they see anything bad. Not all theaters have it, but I know most theaters do. Especially newer ones, like, um, even nicer newer ones with, like, the nice reclining chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Look at from a TikTok. Isn't that fun? Oh my god. Sometimes I just want to watch movies in the theaters in the back corner, right? And I don't want to look suspicious, my guy, okay? I don't want to be next to the suspicious people either, especially... Okay? Okay, especially if it's an empty theater. Sometimes... I like go and watch in the back because it's just I feel like it's most comfortable watching the back. I don't know. Sometimes so I have this like this weird like feeling right that that people are gonna be watching me, looking behind, like over my shoulder, staring at me as I watch the movie. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's why I like <laughs> sitting in the back. <laughs> I know like the chairs are big enough where they can't, but what if they can't? What if they can't? What if they decide to like I don't know like sniff my hair or something like that? I don't want them sniffing my hair. I haven't showered. At least let me smell nice first. Shit. You wash my hair first. Then you need to get all nice and like scrumptious and delicious and tasty. You know? You know, what if they want to eat my hair? I gotta make sure it tastes good too. You know? Let me smell them bad and eat some bad eat that. Mm -hmm. Always one or Social constructs are weird. I like openly showing my friends with comic affection. Like, oh, I can't read. I like walking goofy and I do not give a shit about being formal unless it's a really serious situation. But yeah, 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 yeah. I also like platonic affection too. I like giving my friends hugs. I like linking arms with my friends. I like holding hands with my friends because it's fun. It's fun. Um, sometimes I don't like hugs, but I do like linking arms a lot. Linking arms is one of my favorite things to do with my friends. I just feel more comfortable that way. That way, I can't get lost and look like a lost child because I will get, I will shit myself. I will shit myself if I get lost in a big crowd without my friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl to the ground and cry and lie there and starfish and be like, just step all over me, people. Can't handle this anymore. My friend hates me for not wanting to link arms with me and then losing me here in this crowd, you know? Arm link is the best thing. It's the best thing best thing ever <laughs> yeah i i like doing that during cons especially i like going to a lot of cons with my friends um and i will 100 percent get lost or distracted um i have one friend in particular that will never leave my side at a con because she also has the same interest as me right my other friends they always say fuck you and leave me to fend for myself they're like okay bye 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 claudia have fun have fun! Have fun! I thought we were supposed to have fun together! Where are you guys going? Where'd you go? <laughs> and I get left behind. But yeah. Oh, it's so sad. So, so sad. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I feel like whenever you go on trips with people, 
stuff like that, you know, do things with people, um, somewhere like going on a big trip to a different country or going to a con. I feel like it's good to have the same interests, but you don't always need to be like on each other's hips all the time. Because, you know, it's just good to do what you want to do. Fun things like that, you know? So, I don't want to be alone all the time. I don't want to be alone 24-7. I need one person with me, you know? Like, who am I supposed to have hold my purse and my merch when I'm cosplaying? I gotta look cute. I gotta look cute all the time. Mateys, mateys. Picture ready, okay? Ass out. Okay, maybe not ass out, but like... <laughs> you know, I gotta look bootylicious. Bootylicious is what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Holding hands with the homies is the best thing ever. I love holding hands with the homies. I don't know. I just... I, I, maybe I just feel lonely. <laughs> maybe I need more physical affection in my life. Maybe it's because my parents didn't give me a, enough when I was younger. I don't think I've ever had my mom hug me. Like, genuinely. <laughs> Maybe when I was, like, a baby, you know? But I don't remember, like, any time after, to be honest. I made it, like, a handshake. <laughs> oh, my God, imagine shaking hands with your parents. Like, oh, yeah, good job, child. My, I spawn from egg and sperm. Yes, you. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to catch up on the reading. I'm a slow reader. Hold up, guys. Blah. Aren't you a flat according to most sources? <gasps> I am. I am. That's I How dare you point that out? I'm not supposed to do that. My guy. My guy. Okay, I, I get it. Just because I have a flat ass doesn't mean I can't have my ass out. Doesn't mean I can't have just a cheek exposed, okay, if I wanted to. Alrighty? Alrighty mates. It's it's at least um at least it protrudes a little, you know? It doesn't look completely flat. It's, it, it, it looks like I have somewhat of a butt. You know, there's like a, there's like the slightest shadow. You know, I'm trying to explain, guys, okay? I'm trying to explain. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, my dad really always liked giving me hugs, you know? I don't know. Uh, my mom wasn't a big fan of it, though. Uh, uh, uh. I also have, like, some family members that liked hugging me. Right? Uh, but... I sometimes felt very significant because I'm like, Ah! Where's this coming from? Hug! Ah! Mm hmm But yeah. If I want to have an ass cheek out, I'm gonna have an ass cheek out, guys. Okay? 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 Anyways, <clears throat> what is this? What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always like different levels of um, physical affection in households. I know in a lot of Asian households in particular, um, they typically don't do a lot of physical affection or really like any kind. <laughs> um, I know Yumi can relate to me with this, but um, like most. Asian parents won't say I love you to their kids. It just is how it is. Um, but and they won't like ever explicitly apologize to you ever. The way they do that and the way they say I love you or apologize is by giving you fruit. They're like they'll like come to your room randomly and be like, Hey, you want some fruit? I can catch you up some fruit. We'll leave it on the table here. The experience all the kids get. <laughs> yeah. Main reason why I don't like hugs is because all my friends are like just tall, right? It's not that I'm short, guys. I swear, I swear I'm a decent height. Okay, I'm average height. But all my friends are just fucking giant, right? You go to cons, right? And they're so easy to spot. They're like, oh yeah, they're they're the one that's like two like whole ass foot taller than the rest of the <laughs> the crowd, right? Yeah, I end up like going into their pits instead whenever they give hugs or do hugs and like fuck getting a face full of pit hair and I don't want that. Don't want that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. With that kind of family dynamic, um, it's, it's just it's how it is. It just happens sometimes. It's a uh, bit of a universal experience for a lot of like Asian American households. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Hopefully, though, that'll change in the future because it is not the best. And um, I know like a lot of Asian parents are strict too, like really, really strict. So they end up getting like a lot of kids that sneak out, drink a lot, smoke a lot, a lot of drugs, that kind of stuff. Um, I know a lot of my friends do that now, which, which kind of sucks. I don't know, they're so different now. A lot of my friends from high school, um, that I used to talk to like some of the gamers too, like are just like, they're like straight up alcoholic, crazy. They're so different from before! Because before they wouldn't, like, they would refuse to drink. They'd be like, no, I don't want to, uh, I want to be sober for today, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that kind of shit. And now they're like, they go hardcore! They're like, hardcore with it! Oh my god! Never see them sober in my life anymore! This is how it is now. Crazy. Crazy. Absolute party animal. Here's the environment. Here's their roommate. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's almost scary sometimes when it, how fast it happens. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you just blink. Uh, oh, they're gone. All of a sudden, different person. I agree. Yeah. It's just crazy sometimes. It's just crazy. Like, some people will, like, look exactly the same. But, like... Have completely different personalities or it could be the other way around same personality but they look like completely different they're like whoa who are you like some of them all of a sudden grow a whole ass beard and like who are you who's this person also thank you for the save <gasps> ah photoshop i think photoshop hates me i also need to make sure my output is the same it's right i don't know why it's on my speakers why are you on my speakers output Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. So I was just watching a YouTube video earlier and it should be through my head. Ah. Ah. I don't want to happen. Anyways, saving this now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. This is my computer. Oh shit, setting time ended. Yeah, I, I did really need to save that because that would have been. Oh, 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 would have been gone. Would have been off. Would have been terrible. Let's see. I, I gotta concentrate which four layer this goes to, though. Sometimes I can, like, work without thinking. Other times when I'm looking for a specific folder, I'm gonna be like, you're gonna read. I'm gonna be like, where's this? What's that? Let's see. What do you think? Like to say time isn't real for a reason? Yeah! Time's not real. We're in time zones. Right? Time zones aren't real. The only time that exists is the time I'm living in. Alright? Every time I say it's 11 11, it's 11 11 for you too. Don't question it. Even if it's like, like 2 09, don't question it. What is time? What is that? We don't know what it is. 3 33 in the 38 in the morning. Oh my god. This is crazy. 338. You should get some sleep. Sleep is good. Well, well, yeah. I know. I also tend to sleep a bit late too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to fix that though. Um Yeah, I always get like so little sleep at the week. Oh shit. Wait. Oh, my timer! I completely forgot to change that. I remember. Okay, I remember pointing it out, but I just never like <laughs> changed it. Okay, let's do that real quick. Um, um. The what? It's the warden. It's the warden. We got coffee light at night. I can't. Whenever I drink coffee, I always get like the worst. Like, like was was how did it? How do I describe it? Um, I always have like, like really high heart rate whenever I drink coffee. Like it'll go like, like in the one twenties and stay that way 
for a while, and I, I hate it. I hate it, because it just feels like I'm nervous all the time. And I don't like that feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but whenever I'm sitting down, I also tend to have, like, a high resting heart rate, like, somewhere between, like, the 80s and 100s. It depends. Probably depends on the day and my mood, you know? You know, you know, you know? Mm -hmm. I get a heart attack because of coffee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I drink coffee and I'm dead. I'm dead on the floor. Ground. Awful. Terrible. Never hear from me again. Mm -mm -mm. Then you'll say, oh, fuck, yes, finally, get Claudia out of my life. God, too loud. Anyways. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't know what your heart rate is at any given time. Yeah, uh, I, I just keep track of it a lot because I... It's just fun. <laughs> Just fun, just fun. I don't know, it's just something I like doing for a bit, especially after my diagnosis. It's like, oh shit, this fun fact I can tell people now. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I don't know what the highest my heart rate has gone up to. Um, I know I kept track of it back when I was like in physical therapy for a bit, uh, but I don't remember how high it went to. Because I, my goal wasn't to get it to like the highest, right? It was to keep it maintained at a certain level at certain times, right? So yeah, uh, my goal, I, I didn't have like goals for distances either. It was more of like, keep your heart rate maintained for this amount of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was back when I was like in uh, high school. When I was first diagnosed with uh, POTS. But yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling with it. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I did a little bit of physical therapy for it. Then my mom said, oh, yeah, I'm too lazy to keep on driving you here to the hospital for it. So we're just not going to continue. I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was never like a fan of exercising either. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that's chill. I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah, no, initially I went to uh, physical therapy to uh, fix like my hip. I had like hip problems. Like a, like a fucking old man that felt like an old man. Actually though, kind of crazy. But yeah, uh, I had hip problems uh, with my joints because I had like a lot of pain whenever I walked. Including my knee too, like every once in a while. I went to physical therapy for that to get that fixed. And my first exercise I did, I was super exhausted, super tired. I was like, man, I, I can't, I can't do this. I, I need to like literally lie down because uh, I'm too tired. And they're like, what? It's just a warm up though. Why are you so tired already? So they did some tests and they were like, yeah, we think we have POTS. This seems about right. And then I needed to get like a, an official, um, what's it called? Official, official diagnosis from my doctor instead mm -hmm. to do like some actual tests. And yeah. Yeah, that's how I discovered I had it. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Exercise is not for me. It's so difficult, guys. It's so difficult. I like sitting. I like sitting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, actually, I've also been doing, like, um, like, singing exercises. And then they're asking me if I could, like, sit back up and, like, stand up and sit back down, which is, like, the worst thing <laughs> you could ask for a POTS patient. So I'm like, hey, man, uh, it's all this thing, right? And they're like, oh, yeah. Let's chill. Let's chill. Yeah. Uh, on my first lesson, I was really really dizzy because uh of the up and down going up back up and down yeah i am chill now i am chill now mm -hmm. oh yeah i hate to break it to you but your parents don't love you i already know that i knew that a long time ago mate i'm thriving i'm thriving it's fine mm -hmm. but yeah uh yeah that's that's what it is for my diagnosis but being built like an old man I've always been built like an old man. I got sleep apnea. I have heart, not heart. I mean, technically heart problems. If you count the pots, more like blood problems. It's just all problems. And I also had like joint problems too. I'm an old man. Oh yeah, I'm built like an old man. Let's go. Look at these muscles. He non-existent. <laughs> also, hello, King Kylo. Hello, welcome in. Good morning! Good morning! It's evening for me, though. I guess in my back when it kind of looks like morning. Maybe afternoon? Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm What's this? There's good dizzy and there's bad dizzy? 
spinning on the spot for five minutes and falling over. Awesome. Nauseous dizziness? Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really like nauseous dizziness. It's more of like, I'm gonna... Pe Wait, I don't know. Does it count? Because when I think of nauseous, I think of like throwing up nauseous, right? So it's more of like, I'm gonna pass out nauseous, you know? So yeah, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the other side of the world? Oh my god! Does that mean you're from the future? <gasps> oh my god, can you tell me what my day's gonna be like tomorrow? Can you tell me if I'm gonna have a fun time in class tomorrow? Please. Please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the passing out and dizziness, um, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember this like one time in uh, PE, like after doing the mile, I was not feeling it, right? I was going terribly, feeling terrible. And I almost passed out. It was awful. I, oh my God. Oh my God, it was just terrible. Um. I was like, I had cold sweats and I had to sit down. Even after sitting down, I felt so awful. I thought I was going to throw up. And this was, um, this was like during the winter too. So I was like feeling super warm, super pale. Like, I feel like I had like, um, some decent color to me, you know? But I, I looked paper white. And that's what my friends told me. I'm like, yeah, you looked like shit. I thought you were gonna die, mate. Yeah, I was not having it because I also had super bad cramps that day too. The whole combination of everything made me like, not it, not it. Thankfully, I didn't pass out though. It was nice. I didn't throw up either. I hate throwing up, guys. I cannot do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What's this? What's this? Oh yeah, I remember going without sleep for 36 hours before, and I just I can fit it to black on my upstairs hallway. Woke up in the bed at 9 p.m. Oh my god. Yeah. With, um... I, I know some people will, like, literally sleep for the whole day. Right? And sleep for, like, 24 hours if they don't get enough sleep the day before. They end up pulling, like, multiple all-nighters. But I can't do that. I can't do that. Even if I pull an all-nighter, I will still sleep at, like, super late at night. I can't sleep in the middle of the day. It just... My body would let me. And then I'll just wake up at my normal time, but I feel like so, so exhausted. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I'll end up taking naps in the middle of the day, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On regular days, I will take naps throughout the day. Like today, I woke up and then I did stuff for like two hours. And then I went back to sleep. <laughs> and I woke up again! Yay! Mm -hmm. Yeah, cramps in the stomach region. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, I think you guys can already assume why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, in high school, my cramps used to be really bad to the point where, like, I couldn't get up from bed after lying down. Like, my parents would call me to dinner and be like, oh, fuck, I can't. Like, I literally can't. <laughs> They'd be like, why? I'm like, I'm cramping out here. You, you know why? I'd be like, oh, you're just, you're just being a baby. Look it up. Look it up. We'll be fine. Like, I can't suck this one up. I can't I'm gonna die if I get up. I feel like my insides are being ripped out. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, good. Naps are nice. I take naps so, so often. So, so often. Oh my god, suck these nuts aren't part of Twitch's permitted terms. <gasps> but what about these nuts jokes? What about these nuts jokes? <gasps> you can't do them anymore? Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, if only you sleep to your friend's streams. Those are nice too. Those are always fun. <laughs> Perhaps anywhere is Spain without the S. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, have you guys seen those, like, videos of uh, people working out and then getting cramps immediately after? And then you can see, like, their muscles moving and it's so gnarly. Oh my god. It's so spooky. Let me see if I... No, actually, no. I don't know if I can find one. But yeah, those are so spooky. I don't know if you guys seen those videos or not. But yeah, tell me if you haven't because I will put a link in chat if I can find one. It's the gnarliest thing ever. Oh my god. I... 
imagine how painful that is. I imagine it would hurt so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, break time's over. It's been over. I don't think I'm going back to studying though. I think I'm gonna keep on going for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep on talking to you guys. This talking is fun. I'm fun talking. I don't even need to get this work done anytime soon. I got some done, so that's good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is really wild. Oh my god. So wild. Yeah. I wonder if my neighbors think I'm talking to myself. I truly wonder. I think they do. I don't know. Maybe they think I'm on the phone with people. But at the same time, I like switch like uh, like conversations and subjects so often, right? And just sometimes yell random noises. That <laughs> you know, they, I feel like they have to think that I'm just psychotic. You know, maybe, maybe, or maybe they do think I'm a streamer. I don't know. I've never interacted with my, like, next-door neighbors before. I been like, at my uh, parents' house. I, I never really interacted with my neighbors. Um, I did with one, and then uh, I just don't talk to them much anymore. I don't know why. We used to go to their house so often, too. Hmm, not sure. Bum, 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 Yeah, working out so bad that the muscle is torn. It's so bad it's visible. The naked I, I'm just, oh my god, those ones are super scary too. Like you'll literally see like ligaments tear in the middle of their workout and then them screaming in pain. You're like, holy shit! What just happened? There's also this other video I saw on TikTok that like doing um what they're called. What's it called? Oh, what they're called. I don't go to the gym, so I don't know what they're called, but um it's like bench presses, but for your legs, right? Lying down. So he was basically doing that, and he made his knee go all the way straight, but it was too heavy for him to, like, probably go back down, right? Yeah, leg presses, leg presses! And his leg broke, like, the other way. It bent towards him, and it was so freaky. Holy shit. That's terrible. That's terrible. I saw that video because my friend sent me it, and I'm like, why would you send me that? Holy shit, that's so scary! That's so spooky! I can't with that! Oh my god, it gave me the shivers! Oh my god, I cannot. I could not. Ugh! Ugh! Spooky, spooky, spooky. But yeah, another thing I don't like watching is people throwing up. I know I told you guys about that lady throwing up, but it was fun for me to watch because it was like all liquid. It was kind of funny. It was pretty comedic, too. Like, damn, she's just so chill. <laughs> But yeah, if it's like, um, if you can hear, if I can hear, like, the gagging sound, like, ugh, 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 you know? And then, like, chunks in the throw up, I cannot do that. No. No. I, I cannot. I will throw up at the sight of it. At the smell of it. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's been so many times where, like, my younger cousin, when she was a baby, you know, babies throw up so many times. They vomit so much. And every time she'd vomit, I'd be in her vicinity for some fucking strange reason, right? I don't know why. I would just be in it, right? And I would smell it accidentally, right? Because of the just, you know, immediate throw up. And I'd end up throwing up in my mouth. And I guess I, I mean, I'd swallow it, but I wouldn't <laughs> throw up everywhere, right? And oh my god, I hated it so much. It was so awful, but yeah. Uh, good thing I would always, like, make it to the bathroom in case I needed to, like, you know, like, get that huge hunk out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I cannot. I cannot. That's why I also don't like kids. They throw up too much. And I feel like I have, like, a, like, almost like a phobia of vomit. I cannot watch movies that include it either. It's a no-no. It's a no-no. Even if I see like resin on the shirt afterwards, you know, like from movies like that. No. No. There was actually this time when I went to like this carnival in my hometown. And you know how they will always have those rides, right? There was this one ride um, that kind of, it had the base of a Ferris wheel, right? But um, the actual like seat you went into would spin around and around right really quickly and it looked like a cage it was essentially a cage right for two people standing up 
and you'd be spinning so so much right so um there's this time where i was like sitting next to that ride right like kind of like on the curb to eat food but i was hungry right i bought some food some snacks i think it was like some nachos or something like that right and this kid was on the ride you're well and since it was like a cage it had like um holes in it so it like flung right next to me as i was eating and i was so grossed out by it oh my god it was terrible holy shit they really are vomit inducing yeah yeah here's our vomit inducing and when that kid got out he was covered in vomit i feel so bad for his friend that was like next to him in that ride but yeah they had to hose both of them down afterwards and then the cage i I am so glad I don't go on carnival fair rides because they're just gross. They're just gross, right? And they're also, they don't look safe to me. Every time I see like videos of a um, carnival like fair ride or something like that or county fair or whatever they're, they're fucking called. Those, ah, fairs, just fairs for those, those small children, sticky children. Ugh. But anyways, yeah, they don't look safe. I always see TikToks of them like, like wobbling and shit. No, I don't trust them. I don't trust roller coasters either. I will not get on a roller coaster unless it's like one of those like baby ones, all right? It has to be one of those like baby roller coasters for me to get on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't trust anything that looks like it goes more than 10 miles an hour. Yes, yes. Oh no, I will go on Ferris wheels though, occasionally. I still don't like, like, the ones at County Fairs because they, they just don't feel safe to me. They just don't look sturdy, you know? They don't look sturdy. They're put up within, like, like a week. That doesn't seem safe to me. Just saying, guys. Just saying, guys. I'm gonna shit myself. I'm gonna shit myself. Actually, though. Actually, though. Cannot handle it. No more. No more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Time candy, rigged ass games, and holding ho hands with the homies. Oh, yeah. Holding hands with the homies. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Okay, guys. Yeah. We gotta hate the rigged games. I. Okay, nowadays I don't go to the fairs because they're always like. Always, I feel like they're always ripoffs, you know? Doesn't it feel like it's worth the money anymore? Like, all the rides are so expensive now. Food's so expensive, and like the games you never win. You never win them. I don't know, maybe if like the stuffed animals were cute again, I'd try to play them more. But um, they're always so ugly. I feel like they're usually pretty ugly. Um, occasionally I'll see like a Hello Kitty stuffed animal or like a Pokemon, and I'd be like, oh shit, I can't want that, but not enough for me to play it, you know? You know, you know, you know? Instead, you gotta go to where the true gamers are. The arcade. Oh, yeah. And I feel like arcades usually have, like, cuter, cuter rewards. I don't know. You still lose all your money, though. Don't get enough prizes. Fuck them, mate. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. Ideal experience with the homies is just snuggling up under blankets with hot cocoa at night and binge-watching an entire season of Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Are you okay? I thought you were a Zoomer. I am a Zoomer. I am a Zoomer. Go to the arcade. Yeah. Oh, no. That sounds... Oh, no. Um... I... I... I've officially never had, like, a sleepover with my friends before. I never did. I wasn't allowed to when I was younger because my parents thought, like, my friends' parents were always obsessed. Like, they were gonna kidnap or murder me, you know? Stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. It was so weird. I was always so sad because I'd be in high school. I was thinking like, hey, can I, go, can I go to the sleepover at my friends? And they'd say no! No! And it wasn't because of reasons of like, oh, I think you're gonna like drink and smoke and do drugs and shit. No, it's because they thought I was gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> Oh my god, you know, if they gave me the reasoning of like, oh, I think you're gonna like drink and do drugs and do those normal teenage stuff that you'd see in like shows and movies and whatnot, right? I'd be like, yeah, that's more understandable than like getting kidnapped by my 
friend's parents for some reason. Yeah, they definitely want another teenage daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh! Zero! Ooh, ooh! Finish your lab cam? Let's go. Oh no, you're going to finish your lab cam. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big ass bowl of Skittles. Oh my god, that reminds me. There was this one time in middle school where we had like one of those class parties, right? And they had a bowl of m M&M and Skittles and then some some bright kid decided to just mix the two bowls together and it was abysmal. I hate Skittles, right? I hate Skittles. I cannot deal with Skittles. I don't like the taste of them, but I do like M&Ms. I love M&Ms. So when I grabbed a handful, started eating them, tasting some m and then all of a sudden tasted a Skittle. I was so upset. I I was gonna straight up murder the kid who did it. Saying to myself, man, if I find the kid who did this, I'm gonna beat their ass up with my four foot <laughs> ten <laughs> heights and no muscles, skin and bones body. Yes. Yes, this was middle school, guys, so I was 4'10", somewhere around there at the time. I was a short kid. It's not fun. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I can't stand Skittles. I don't like the taste of them. I, I don't know what it is about it. I think it just tastes too sweet and chemically at the same time, but I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I like M&M's, though. I love peanut M&M's. Oh my god, peanut M&M's I could eat so much of. Holy shit. They're so good. Mm. Something about them. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Peanut M&M's just that different. Oh my god, they do too. They do. They totally do. And I've- Oh god, they also have like pretzel M&M's that I've been wanting to try, but... I can't find them. I can't find them. Mm -hmm. I usually don't buy them either, so... I'm, I usually don't really buy candy. I... I feel like the only time I buy candies is when I go to the movie theaters. Like, I'll go to the grocery store beforehand or like um, like a drugstore, right? Buy candy and then take it with me into the theater. Yeah, there's never a time where I'm just like munching on candy by myself at home. I just, I don't know. I'm not a candy person, I'm more of like a chip person. I could totally down a whole family sized pack of chips in one sitting if I really wanted to. If they were hot Cheeto fries, I 100% would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't sell those. They don't sell those. Family size hot Cheeto bags? I wish they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, family size. <laughs> yeah, family size is a lie. It's just a large. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So apparently, like, the serving size of, um, like, hot Cheetos is, like, seven chips. Somewhere around there. It's, like... So little, like a small handful. Like, I'm not eating this small serving size of chips. Who does that? I need like a good like bowl, like a good medium sized bowl, you know? Yeah, sit down and like munch on them. I'm not gonna eat five chips. Are you kidding me? You know the small like like small uh, chip size that you'd get at um like at school or something? Something like that. You know those really small packs? You know what I'm talking about? Right? Right? Yeah, apparently those are one serving. And they would always have like five chips in them. Five. Sometimes like even three. It was so sad. Oh my god. Yeah, if you open the bag, the chips are going off within the hour. Within the hour, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? The, the, the chips that they'd give out for free at school with your lunch. You know what I'm talking about? You have to know what I'm talking about. They were always so sad. They made me so, so upset. Mm -mm. I, I couldn't. Not. <sighs> Man, school lunches were always abysmal. I hated school lunches so much. Mm -mm. Oh shit! My mic! But yeah, I don't have very fond memories of school lunches, and whenever I ate school lunches, I would never finish them, right? So I was really skinny. I was skinny as fuck in like middle school and high school. I was skin and bones. But yeah, whenever I went home, I also, I don't know, I, I'd always have a small appetite because I didn't eat much, right? 
at school. So all my meals ended up being like super duper small. Well, I gotta fix that posture. Oh! Okay. I feel like I'm always moving in my seat. I can't stand still ever in my life. Mm -mm. Yeah. School lunches. God. Like, uh, not only do they taste like cardboard, I could probably make a cardboard box out of them. Got all the preservatives in them, too. Oh my god. Like, like those McDonald's meals. <laughs> that, like, that people would hide in their closets. And, like, not a speck of molds is on them. They'd be fine. They'd look fine. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. School lunches taste like what I imagine senior citizens to taste like. If I was a cannibal, that's what I imagined. Yeah, they weren't the best. They were ugh, not fun. I do remember this time though, where um, high school was serving like tacos, right? And they were like assembling it separately um, as they were like, you know, giving it to the kiddos, right? And they put like guacamole on them, which a lot of people liked, but I can't eat avocados, right? I will, I will throw up if I do. Right, they don't agree with me. Avocados hate me. It's not that I necessarily dislike the taste of them. I'm fine. I feel like I'm fine with the taste. It's just that my body hates it. It cannot handle it, right? So I asked uh, the cafeteria lady if they can make my tacos without the guac, right? Because I'm like, hey man, uh, uh can, can, I, can I get this? Because uh, I, I can't eat avocados, right? And the kid next to me but, oh my god, just just eat it. Why are you being such a like a funny ass bitch, right? I mean, not those <laughs> not those words exactly, right? Yeah, okay, but essentially the vibe I was getting, you know? Like, hey man, I I I just can't eat it. <laughs> They're like, you know, I will eat it for you if you just put it, if you just get it away. I'm like, no man, I, I can't even if there's like a little bit of it, I can't eat it. My guy. My guy, I will throw up. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, if I had the ability to eat every food without throwing up, I'd be so happy. Or not like, or without throwing up because I'm just, because my stomach just hates it, but, you know, you know, you know, you know. It's like poisonous, I would love to throw it up. Oh yeah, get that out of my system. Sometimes I'm just tempted to like pick up mushrooms from the ground and then eat them. I heard they're poisonous, you know, you know the ones that just grow randomly in your front yard sometimes? For the fall. I just wanna get up and eat it. You know? You guys no, do you guys ever have that want to do that? I feel like, you know, you guys have to. Are they edible? I, I need to know if they're edible. I, I never ate them because I thought that they were like potentially poisonous, but you know, now that I think about it, they're probably fine. They're like these little like white shrooms. Okay, have you guys heard of like fairy rings? It's when like shrooms grow like a little ring in your patch of grass. And people used to think that that's where like fairies used to come out of something like that. I don't know. But what I remember. Yeah, those are also so cool. I had a whole bunch of those uh, in my neighborhood for some reason. I also at school and I'd always like so, so fascinated by it. I was like, man, these mushrooms came out of nowhere. They look so tasty. I love mushrooms so much. Oh my god. Mushrooms are so tasty. <gasps> oh my god, it's very spawn points. Oh my god, you're so right. You're so right. I'm gonna catch a fairy one day. I'm gonna catch it. Cage it. Keep it in my room. It's gonna be so upset. It's gonna be like, oh man, I miss my family. I miss the outdoors. I'm gonna be over here like, no. Not allowed to leave. You're forever caged here. In my room. Where I feed you what I want. <laughs> Yeah, spawn camp Tinkerbell. Oh yeah. Cage her. Cage her. Isn't there one movie where someone did try to cage her? And they succeeded and then like let her go later? One of those movies. One of those movies when I was younger. Oh no, Tinkerbell 3? Yeah, Tinkerbell 3! <laughs> Actually was! Oh my god. Yeah, I was just about to say Tinkerbell 3. Like, with the question mark, right? Because I couldn't remember exactly which one. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember any. Any of the Tinkerbells, right? Except for the, like, the first movie, first scene, where, like, Tinkerbell just spawns out of nowhere. 
And then that movie, Tinkerbell 3, where like she's like trapped and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the plot very well though. I just remember some aspects of it. I don't remember who Vidya is. Who's that? Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Vidya. Oh, it's this chick! Yeah, yeah, I've always liked her design too. I... Oh god, I don't remember the name, but I, I really like the, uh, the, like, the water. The water one. With, like, the blue dress and the long hair. I always thought that she was super pretty. Super duper pretty. I loved her design so much. <laughs> yeah, entire franchise was just one massive character arc for video. Yeah, it really was. It really felt like it. Okay, guys. I... I think I am now gonna end the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. You guys are probably thinking, but, but Claudia, it hasn't been two hours yet. Why are you ending so soon? Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. It was because I had technical difficulties early. Or, oh, yeah. My. My. What was I going to say? My. My. I forgot my train of thought. Oh, shit. Now I remember. My, my stream ended earlier, right? A little early because my PC just like screwed itself over. It said, fuck you. I hate me. Dad on me. All over the place. But anyways. <laughs> this my stream energy is also depleted and I'm also very, very hungry. Oh, I'm gonna eat. But yeah, I did eat earlier. But I guess it wasn't enough. I had some like chow mein, leftover chow mein that my mom packed for me. It was pretty yummy. Pretty tasty. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining today. Oh my god, and I hope you guys can stay with me for just a little bit la la longer. Later. I guess later. Longer work. Because we are going to braid someone. And we want to get those raid messages out there. Oh yeah, I know you do. So we're going to tell... Who are we going to raid today? We are going to go with... Hmm... I don't know who. I don't know who. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, guys. Give me a hot second. Give me a hot second. Let's go with... Let's go with Yoro. I don't think I've ever rated her before, so let's go ahead and do that. Right now, she is playing Alan Wake, and she is a part of Yuri production, so let's go ahead and say hi! Hi! And our raid message will be Meownarchy Raid. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, narky raid. Oh, yeah. With... A little hard if you have one. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's right in time. It's... It's... It's warm in time. I was trying to think of what, like, the meme was. But I couldn't, I couldn't think of it in my head. At all. Anyways. We're gonna go now! Thank you so much everyone for joining tonight. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Where I'll be doing some art. Art, art, art! Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Here's a big fat smooch for the end. Mwah! Oh my god! Oh my god, welcome in! Stop copy treatment! Holy shit! So yeah, we'll be ready now. Bye-bye, everyone! Bye-bye!